Guns and gear in Escape from Tarkov are pretty important. In today's video, I will show you the best weapons from level 1 to level 15. Let's start with the video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and let's start with another very important video. Even if you are beyond level 15, this video could be very interesting, but let's start with the topic of today's Escape from Tarkov video. I'm going to show you some very interesting weapons, guns and gear for this wipe. Let's start immediately with Prepper level 1. And Prepper level 1 has some very interesting and very good weapons for your start. I'm not talking about your starting equipment. I will talk about Trader Spartas and I will show you the hideout as well. Let's start with the PP-19. And the PP-19 is one of the best. I made a lot of videos or I mentioned it very often. The PP-19 is one of the best low level SMGs. And the reason for that is quite simple. You have a very low base recoil. You have a 30 round magazine. Your fire rate is, is a little bit low, but you can control this gun very well. And on top of that, you can modify it very easily. Let's check that out. And for every weapon, I will do a very quick, quick, quick budget version what you can do with Trader Level 1. If I do a mistake with a Level 2 Trader item, please forgive me about that and you can mention it in the comments below. So let's start. What you can do is to take the w a w a s r grip the wooden grip from peacekeeper or you can grip the ak100 and you can put a very cheap and easy uh, grip on the pp19 which is very nice on top of that what you also can do is you can buy the cobra side and you can mount the cobra side from prepper they changed it a little bit they made it a little bit worse compared to the last wipe but it's good for the price and don't forget the shade of course and this build is pretty easy pretty good and very decent very very decent early on i like the pp19 very much let's continue what you also should play is the sks pretty easy you don't have to modify it if you find a suppressor from from i don't know like from woods or somewhere else i would definitely suppress the sks but ps ammunition ammunition 762 by 39 ps is pretty strong you should use it and on top of that do you have the ak 74 n barter which is also very nice there's no big difference between the ak 74 n and the ak 74 m especially early on um, go for the AK, make a barter and go for it. It's a pretty good AK as well. And on top of that, you have almost the same um, options to modify the AK as well. You can put the, the wooden foregrip. Of course, you can put on the AK 100 grip with the rail on the bottom. And you can put, of course, the Cobra side. That's why I really recommend go for the AK. It's pretty good. And BT ammo, ammo is almost everywhere. Um, I will make a video about ammunition. This is a pretty big topic. And I guess not everybody is mentioning it right now because, and I will show you that in this video as well, let's say M995, which is the meta ammunition for the M4. As you can see right now, 1000 ruble seems expensive, but it's actually not because you can't buy it from the trader anymore. As you can see, no trader. Usually if you could buy an ammunition from the trader, like the M856A1, let me show you that. You can see I can buy because I need. I have to do the quest, but I would have this dark grayish field over here that there is an option to buy it. So ammunition is a big topic and I would save meta ammo, especially for the mid and late wipe. And from this point of view, I would say we jump to the next one because you're basically done. What you also could play is the Pepish. The Pepish is pretty good um, early on. But I would go with some 9 mils and of course the Mosin. But the Mosin is, as you can see right here, pretty expensive. So you could do the barter if you collect these items. What you really should do is play some SMGs or the AK or the SKS. Then a big, big tip is always use tactical headset, in my opinion. And this one is also a pretty good barter is this level uh, level 3 armor, especially early on as well. But really important is a tactical headset. I would go without any armor but I would pick a tactical headset because with headsets like this one, you have a big advantage compared to your enemies, which do not use any tactical headsets. Sounds and information talk of are pretty important. And with information and uh, let's say mediocre gun with very low recoil like the PP-19, you can easily drop down your enemies and steal their stuff. So let's continue with Skiers. Skiers also not that bad. 
I wouldn't go with the ADAR. It's A, pretty expensive. The ammo isn't that good. And yeah, it's like basic ADAR. I wouldn't play the ADAR or the M4 early on. You could play the Zyger 9, but Skier is nice because you can buy some attachments for your AKs. You can buy a grip, you can buy sights as well. So I wouldn't go with any other weapon. Maybe, maybe, nah, not really. Maybe a shotgun for a quest or for some tactical headsets. But that's basically it from Skier. What's pretty nice, I saw that, and I will mention it, is the Bazak stock. The Bazak stock is pretty, pretty good because you have minus 35 recoil, which is pretty nice, but only plus two ergo. And don't forget, you can buy the Roto 43 366 TKM muzzle brake, which is good for the next weapon, is it's Jaeger level 1 and from Jaeger level 1 you can buy the Weapon Bolt Action Rifle and this rifle is pretty good, especially if it's suppressed and if you have some AP rounds. So I would only play this rifle if you find or get some AP rounds. You can achieve that by killing Rashala's guard. There is one guard with a 366 AP AK, 3 max and 1 mag in the gun and I would definitely use and save this ammunition. Furthermore, the, the OPSKS is also pretty nice because you have the side rail, you can mount some different scopes, you can mount the PSO scope which, which has a magnification which is pretty decent and don't forget you can suppress it. So the SKS early on very very powerful especially if you have a suppressor and P even PSMO is pretty nice. I wouldn't buy any further items because i'm not a big fan of shotguns but right now shotguns are pretty powerful because a lot of scavs have have magnum backshot but i'm personally not a big fan of shotguns let's continue with peacekeeper and peacekeeper has a lot of very good items let's start with my favorite you know it mp5 for the mp5 for the normal mp5 you need eight knives which is pretty easy to get kill some scavs and you can get it which is pretty easy you can collect it over time pretty nice even the mp5k is a pretty decent piece of a very nice german weapon you have it seems that you have a nice recoil but believe me guys take some level 3 armor kiverhelm and rush for dorms the mp5k is pretty pretty nice i like that very much and it's let's say cheaper 180 bucks it's okay but what very a very interesting barter is this one for the mp5x you only need seven level eight or bigger or higher level dog tags that's pretty easy and that's pretty easy to get you can collect this over time as well and the mpx is pretty good because you can change the stock to the bazak stock and if you're lucky enough or let's say it's pretty easy to get a 9mm suppressor, you can suppress it, you can attach a grip, side, a laser, tech light, everything like that. So the MP5X is one of the best SMGs in the game still. And I think this barter is pretty powerful. You should take advantage out of it. Definitely save your dog tags. I want to show you one more thing. It's the Cater B with the suppressor. This thing is pretty evil because it's a very good SMG suppressed. You have a high fire rate of 900 rounds per minute. Of course, you need prepper level 2. But after the quest, Bad Rep Evidence, which is a level 6 quest, you will get one of the Cater with 3 max and some spare rounds and this cater is pretty nice almost nobody will pick that cater up i do not know why but i had mine for a pretty long time and i enjoyed the cater very much it's a big surprise and i will make a single video about the cater i like that thing i really like the thing and the suppressor is pretty cheap around 9 to 11k which is really cheap for that gun you have a recoil of 50 and i like the cater the cater is pretty pretty good suppressed and I became a big fan out of it, so don't forget to try the cutter out, it's a quest reward, don't sell it, just use it, it's a pretty good thing. Let's continue, Ragman, some gear and all of that stuff. You don't have that much options, I wouldn't buy this rig for 50k, I know it's a good option, but 50k early on it's quite a lot. On top of that, save your money, don't buy this helmet. I know it's a decent helmet. I know that it's you have a it's a level three helmet with high ricochet chance, but it's 22k each raid. I wouldn't spend that. Go for this barter or pick it up if you loot it, but don't buy it. 22k early on is a lot. Then go for this Paka barter because a half mask, three of them, quite easy to collect. Don't buy it. 
just try to make make some bada it's bada trades it's much more value to yourself than buying it straight for 30k i would rather go with no armor and try to kill something and pick stuff up uh, same as with backpacks if you don't have the fleet don't don't buy it go with something small like from ragman this this mbss or the smaller rig don't spend that much on on uh, rock sacks it's not worth at all in my opinion you need every single ruble same goes for your medical supplies early on you're pretty limited go on customs um go for the crack house ford uh you can uh, you can loot medical supplies quite easily or some hidden stashes uh, don't spend that much on on medical supplies but as you can see you have some pretty good barters early on and i would i would use it uh, it's a pretty interesting thing that the hemo barter is also quite cheap I know you don't have flea market, but I will show you the prices. 3k for a pack of screws is nothing. So if you find them, use it for the barter if, if you if you want. And I would always recommend go with something pretty easy. Like as you can see, the SMR tourniquet, 1.3k is almost nothing. Grab one of these, some normal healing supplies and some painkillers. It's you're pretty much good to go. Good, you're good, a uh, very good. Medical gear is very important that you survive longer in Tarkov. And that's basically it for 1 to 15. Then let's jump to the hideout really quick because the hideout is early on one of your best friends. And as you can see right here, I guess this one, yeah. The AK 74 N craft is okay if you have the parts and you can craft the AK. And that's basically it because everything else is almost level two. You can craft some rounds, which aren't worth at all, in my opinion. But if you can go or if you can get level two as quick as possible, as you can see, you can craft the AK-74M. You can craft some good rounds. You can craft even AP-633, which is also very, very good. Let's summarize it really quick. I wouldn't go for the M4. It's wasted to play a stock M4. 855 isn't that good. It's a good round early on, but I wouldn't spend it. I wouldn't spend that money on it. I wouldn't spend my time for the M4 early on. Go for something pretty easy, which you can handy, handle quite well, like some 9 mils, some, some SKS, or even if you go for some, some shotguns with a choke, it's also okay. But I would go with some 9 mil SMGs early on because an easy headshot and it's pretty pretty uh, easy to land a headshot with some very low recoil SMGs will almost end the fight every time. And you have a very good firepower, which will lead to a lot of pressure to your enemy. So, as I said, go for some easy SMGs, go for a tactical headset, which will give you more information about your environment, about yourself, of course, and it will punish the, the mistakes which your enemies made. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any question, please, please feel free to write in comments below. Let me know what you think about your best gun or gear for your raids. I'm really interested in your progress and let's keep it up let's keep the good vibe up for this vibe i'm really glad to have you here guys and as always don't forget to like this video because we germans want to win at least something i would really appreciate your like for this video and see you in the next video stay safe guys